What's up YouTube? My name is Keandra. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. As y'all read by the title and as y'all seen in the intro, I'm coming to y'all with a full start to finish wig install. And this wig install is going to be on a highlight wig that was sent to me from YS Wig. So I want to give a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and sending me over this bomb HD lace front wig, okay? So I'm just about to get into the full process. As y'all can see right now, I'm just preparing my ball cap. I'm using my Boho Active, which I freaking love. I freaking found the glue y'all definitely found the glue for me and my freaking obsessively oily skin <laughs> um so yeah I love this glue so yeah I'm just gonna be putting that on I only did one layer of course something thin something slight and I'm just gonna be blow drying that dry and we finna get into this ball cap So after that is all dried, I'm going to go in with my manicure scissors. I freaking love these. They're super sharp. They're small and they just precise and they just cut super good. So this is what I like to use when I'm cutting off the front of my ball cap. And then y'all going to see me go in with some just regular old hair scissors to cut like near my ears as y'all see here. But yeah, I'm just cutting off all the extra cap um, in the front and then I'm going to start putting my makeup on the ball cap. Y'all know how this go. I ain't gonna try to make this too long or, you know, talk too much about it. Y'all can kind of just see what I'm doing. I'm really getting the hang of this. I feel like after I did it that one time in my last um, wig install, your girl know what she doing now. Like, I feel like with practice, I can only get better. So here it is. I'm using Ruby Kisses foundation and I always use the one um, in number 14. And I'm just gonna go with that all over my cap with like a flat foundation brush. This is the only brush that I like to use when I'm dealing with makeup on my ball cap and my lace. And I'm gonna be putting the same exact makeup inside of my lace as well, which y'all will see. But I'm really just focusing it down the middle because that's where my part is gonna be, as well as like, you know, the perimeter of my head. Y'all, this is the wig. Boom. Here she is. I let the wig air dry. I did bleach the knots. They bleached perfectly. I didn't have to keep the bleach on too long because this is a highlight wig. So the knots were not too dark. This is a HD lace frontal unit like I mentioned y'all and it is a 13 by 4 which y'all it was definitely given 13 by 6 a lot of wigs nowadays to me in my opinion they be saying 13 by 4 but they be 13 by 6 is like the parting space do y'all see that it was bomb this lace was bomb it blended perfectly y'all and this is a 20 inch unit by the way and the density is 150 percent I will have all that in the description box down below so you can just refer to that as well as a discount code for y'all if y'all want to go shop with them i definitely highly highly recommend this exact unit that i'm wearing y'all it was so bomb i'm saying was as if i don't still have it in y'all it's still bomb i have it in my head right now it's like day two or three of me wearing it and it's super duper freaking bomb still super soft y'all I just love this hair. <laughs> I got so many compliments on it and it's styled really, really well. But I did go ahead and cut the combs out. Y'all seen a little bit of what I was doing while I was just rambling about how bomb this unit is. So now I'm just hot combing the unit back and I'm gonna be doing some extra plucking. I didn't really do that much plucking on my mannequin head. Matter of fact, I didn't do anything on my mannequin head. I've been really getting into the whole customizing the wig on the head thing. I think it's smart. I really like it and it's just effective. It works really good. So yeah, y'all can just see that I'm kind of just parting a little bit of the hairline out and I'm going to be plucking behind that with my tweezers just as I would um, if I was to do this on my mannequin head, but I'm just doing it on my head and I can just kind of get a better look for how I want the unit to look and how it is going to look on my head. So yeah, that's what y'all see me doing. I'm going to go ahead and pluck on both sides of the unit. And I'm just going to be hot combing that back in between just to see the progress.
So now I'm gonna be going in with my Care Care Wax Stick. I freaking love this wax stick, y'all. I'm taking it at the top and on the sides of my hair, and I'm gonna get ready to hot comb my hair out. This just makes the install super sleek. We was going for that bust down middle part look, um, and I did straighten the hair. I wanted everything to look flat, sleek, and laid, which your hot comb and your wax stick is gonna be your best friend for helping you do that. So please be careful, y'all. It is not hard at all to burn yourself while doing this, so just be careful. For some reason, I don't think I was recording my first layer, but I did go in with one layer of the Boho Active, and now I'm going in with my second layer. You want to make sure you do your layers real thin and let them dry clear in between each other. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just smoothing that out. I'm going to let that dry clear, and then I'm going to get ready to lay my lace down, y'all. So now that everything is clear for the most part, y'all, I'm ready to lay my lace down. So I'm going to be pulling the wig down and I'm ready to lay my lace. I don't think I ever told y'all or showed y'all on camera me cutting the ear tabs out. But of course, I did that way in the beginning <laughs> because I'm laying this down now. And I'm like, wait a minute, did I tell them? But yeah, y'all just see me pressing with that comb, pressing the lace in. And it melted so well, y'all, because this is HD lace. Your lace can really make or break your install for real. A good lace really makes a good install. Y'all, I took the freaking elastic band off. And baby, she's like, <laughs> she is freaking. Now we gonna fix the part and all that. I ain't finished. I just had to pop in and say that she is late, okay? So we about to just, I'm about to just finish the rest of the video um, with the voiceover like I usually do. By the way, this lace is bomb. This is HD lace. And this hair is super bomb. So why is wigs? <laughs> Y'all are doing a dang thing so far. Like, let me, let me go ahead and finish this install. Definitely make sure y'all check them out and cop this wig, y'all. I really truly do love this hair. But anyways, now I'm going to be doing my baby hairs. Did I freaking cut out me cutting a lace off? Like, who does that? I guess I did, y'all. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's my editing or if my freaking camera was not rolling. Because I do like to stop and start my camera while I'm recording sometimes just to save a little bit of time. But for the most part, it's really better to just keep it rolling for reasons like this. But I did cut that lace off with a razor. And now I'm just parting out my baby hair. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of the Got To Be Glue spray on top of that. Um, on top of my lace. And I'm just getting ready to train the baby hairs to kind of fall forward with the hot comb. Be super careful with this, y'all. Because, again... The hot comb is hot, okay? Y'all seen that I was heating up my baby list um, flat irons, just a mini flat iron. It helps me curl the baby hair, and curling the baby hair helps you lay the baby hair easier. It's already laying and going in the direction that it should be going. So y'all just see me using the same razor that I used to cut my lace off, which y'all didn't see, but that's the one I use. I'm just cutting my baby hairs, and I am gonna be curling. Y'all, I was watching tutorials and I noticed that a lot of girls were curling the hair upward. And at first to me, it didn't make sense, but the installs made a lot of sense. So I stopped curling downward and I started curling upward. And y'all, it did it for me. Y'all see that I'm just using my Gorilla Snot. And that is what I'm going to be using um, to lay these baby hairs. You don't need a lot of this product because it is really thick and it can kind of cake your lace up a little bit. So for the initial install, it's nice. But... I definitely wouldn't like keep a reapplying this type of product because it is thick but the hold is amazing so yeah that is what I'm gonna be doing and I really like the whole like part in the baby hairs out and mapping it out first um, it was really helpful and because a lot of times I struggle with how I want my baby hairs to be and then they're not symmetrical or like one side is kind of different from the other so this just kind of helped me stay symmetrical and it helped me just with the overall install, y'all. Y'all, 
I could have did this ahead of time, but y'all just see me tweezing a little bit of the baby hairs. Anywhere that I seen that it was like too dense for my liking, I just went in with the tweezers, not the end of the world. But you definitely can tweeze your baby hairs before you actually get ready to lay them down, just to thin them out. Them look a little bit more natural. I'm doing a little bit more tweezing and last minute customizing and now I'm getting ready to take my hair down and brush it out so I can go ahead and flat iron it. I'm just going to be going in with a heat protectant serum to flat iron my hair. Um, before I do that, I'm just going in with the hot comb again. It's one of my favorite parts, y'all. I will go over the top of my head as many times as I feel I need to to make sure my install is laying flat up there. And just to make sure the baby hairs and everything is melted even more, I'm going to spray a little bit of Gatsby glue and then lay, lay my lace back down with the elastic band. And I'm just going to blow dry that for a little bit. And then I'm going to take that off so I can um, flat iron my hair. Some more on my wax stick. And so what I'm about to grab because um, I like to tame every fly way I can, y'all. I wanted this install to be really bomb and really sleek. So I was not playing with the top of this wig, okay? And now y'all just see me going over the sides of my hair, just again, making sure everything is flat. Um, and I'm about to get ready to freaking slay the rest of this hair um, and style it. But this is just how everything was looking as of now. I went off camera and I beat my face, which y'all will see in a second. And then I was ready to flat iron my hair. I'm finally gonna go in with the olive oil heat serum and I'm putting that all throughout the hair just to tame any frizz and it also acts as a heat protectant that's literally what it is and i'm gonna be going on my flat iron on 370 and we about to press this hair out okay i think that with it being a 150 percent density it made it look really sleek and straight like the density was perfect it was not too thick or too thin i really like that about this unit i just love the custom color that they did the highlights the different shades of brown and blonde like the streaks love it love it love it love it it really popped i feel like with my skin tone and go check out my little instagram or whatever because your girl was real cute and did up she put a whole little look together and it came together really really cute with this wig so definitely check that out Now I'm going to be fixing a part, so I'm going in with that same Ruby Kisses foundation that I use. I'm just using it with my little eyebrow concealer brush that I like to use. Um, it was real small and it got in there real good. And I'm just going to be taking this um, spray and I'm just going to be fixing up my part. I'm using the end of an old uh, edge brush. It broke off, but it works perfectly. Or you could use a rat tail comb or whatever. You use a lot of things <laughs> to put down the center of your part. But y'all see how I just cleaned it up real, real nice. And I'm going to be going in again with the inner front. I did order this from Amazon a while back. And I also got those little cuticle nail little scissors from Amazon too. If anybody cared. They cut real good y'all. They so bomb. But anyways that's besides the point. This is how the hair was looking. Really sleek and straight y'all. I really loved it. Y'all see what I mean by the density just helping it look real sleek and natural. It's not too thick. It's perfect. Like look at it y'all. 
absolutely love this hair make sure y'all check out ys wigs thank y'all so much again for sponsoring this video i will have all the links down below my coupon code all that good stuff make sure y'all shop with them and go support and i will see y'all in my next video Ooh.